Umentri Kasaka Padang Ukiran, Rijiju, Menegasi Sajan, a Bakran Chila Patai Kubor, Hanong Bashulong, like two Bakasaka Prank, La Bay Pisa, Hadu, Nyopun Ruklo, Shaki, Pratli, Kijila, Jonkonot East, Ulakinturu, Bakaneka Pisa, Balamang Nabantaka, Raika Paj, and Kinikijila, Kintinkai, but Pendan Kam Hok, Bakaneka, Nyopun Ruklo Tinka. Nakaliang Jong U, Layethu, Ba U Mitri Rangba, Kari India, U Narendra Modi, Bal Mitri Kampoyeng, U Amit Shaki Lapin Pao, Bikini Kijila, Kibadan Kajinya Kain Art, Port Usam, Kinyapin Benyo, Yo Port Usam, Banyo Kajin Sok Yasan Hakiniki Tan, Shate Lam Mi. Badru Ulakuntu, Yamalaki Sorka Jela, Kide Ben Shimkia, but get clear Haka Shang Sok, Shang San, Junkini Kijila, not East. Taking over as the Minister for Law and Justice and uh, becoming a member of the cabinet. So, I would like to uh, say a few words uh, before I talk about the budget. On behalf of the Northeastern people, I feel that it was an honor to be there in the cabinet under the leadership of Narendra Modi ji. And uh, as a person from Northeast, and uh, as a tribal from Northeast, it is a huge honor to become the first tribal law minister of the country. It took almost 75 years for a tribal in India to be the law minister of the country. So it is a huge responsibility and faith which the Honorable Prime Minister has given to me. So I feel that to become the Law Minister of the country is not an honor for Kiran Rijiju. It is an honor for the entire Northeast and the entire tribal community of the country. Secondly, this is also the first time that there are two cabinet ministers and three minister of states at the same time in the Union Council of Ministers. This shows that how much the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji gives importance to Northeast, far more than our numbers. Normally, democracy runs with numbers, but for Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, Numbers do not matter all the time, but it is his uh, emotional connect, especially with the people of Northeast, which has uh, made him to give a huge representation. That too, with the critical, important portfolios in the cabinet. Secondly, Modi's love for the Northeast is not confined to token representation. It is packed with huge support in terms of providing infrastructure, providing all important critical support for the welfare of the people of Northeastern region. Now, when it comes to infrastructure, which requires huge investment, in last seven and a half years alone, we have received the budgetary support, which we have never received in the last five, six decades. These supports include railway projects, airports, highways, roads for the villages in the rural areas, and all important critical support for the development of soft infrastructure in the field of education, health, and other critical sectors. Overall allocation for the Northeast in the entire budget has jumped by huge numbers. In the last year's budget, the total allocation for the Northeast was 68,000 crore, little more than 68,000 crore, which has come to 76,000 crores this time, more than 76,000 crores 
So it is a huge quantum jump. A jump of nearly 8,000 crores. So now it is up to the governments in the northeastern states to utilize all the budgetary support allocated in the union budget presented by Nirmala Sitaramanji. Other than this quantum jump of 76,000 crore, the PM Divine, that is a Pradhan Mantri, Prime Minister Development Initiative for Northeastern Region, in short, it is known as PM Divine, 1,500 crore is given extra. So this 1,500 crore is an initial amount allocated. And this amount will be utilized in those sectors which are not covered by any other programs and uh, policies or schemes which are launched by the government of India. Because what we have seen is in Northeast due to unique geographical and uh, regional character, there are some areas, some critical structures, some uh, issues which are not settled by existing programs and policies. There are many, many areas which are left out, which are like a gap. So this special amount of initial uh, amount of 1500 crore is to fill up all those gaps so that nothing is left as a vacuum. So Prime Minister is so thoughtful that nothing should be left out. No stone will be left unturned when it comes to the development of Northeastern region. That is why besides the massive allocation of funds through various departments and ministries, the extra 1500 crore as initial amount has been given to Northeastern Council to work as a gap for anything which is uncovered. Besides that, there are aspirational districts, there are some other special programs which are going on. Through the Ministry of Donor, the coordinations are taking place. I belong to uh, Northeastern region, so I also take special interest to ensure that some of the schemes allocated under the budget are implemented properly. So it is a moral duty on the part of everyone to ensure that all the funds which are allocated in the union budget must be utilized prudently. And a place like Shillong, which is a, known as a very progressive city in the northeastern region, being a very old city, people of Shillong and people of Meghalaya will definitely wholeheartedly welcome the union budget because this budget has given provision for every section of the society. So nobody will be left out, whether it is uh, uh, with regards to electricity connection or gas connection or portable water at your doorstep, banking accessibility through <coughs> all this uh, Jandan Yojana, and all important critical requirement of the common people are being taken care of under this budget. <clears throat> we have a very friendly government in Meghalaya. I'm sure our government is part uh, part of the our party is part of the government. So I'm sure uh, our honourable Chief Minister Condit Sangma, who is very young, very dynamic, he will ensure under his leadership all the schemes all the programs and all the amount allocated under the union budget of 2022-23 will be implemented effectively in the state of Meghalaya. So friends, as I said, you all are aware of the budget, you have gone through the budget. I felt it not necessary to go into the entire details of the budget, which you already know it, but I have just given a cover up, a backup, uh, the, the spirit behind the budget to ensure that with good intention this budget has been presented and keeping in mind the need of the common people everything has been taken care of including the special support for the northeastern region. It's a huge territory, it's the biggest state in northeast India and the entire northern part of Arunachal is very, very mountainous, high altitude and tough areas where the border with the uh, Chinese side is not being defined. So sometimes some of our people go and 
they cross over without knowing the, because there is no demarcated lines. Sometimes uh, the Chinese side also they venture into our side. So there are many instances where uh, Indian forces have taken the Chinese people into custody, those who cross over, and sometimes our people also cross over. So this keep happening. So whenever there is a report of our people going or missing to, uh, or going towards other side, the Indian Army do contact its counterpart, the PLA, and uh, informations are exchanged. Many a case we get back, if, if there are some issues which are unresolved, we continue to pursue it. Chief Minister um, knows very well, and uh, the Home Ministry is dealing with the matter. So uh, if I make an announcement here, it will not be wise, because the matter which are under discussion uh, should be uh, dealt uh, very uh, carefully because uh, the Chief Minister and the, the State Government and the Union Government, uh, whenever required, if announcements are to be made or decisions are to be taken, it will be taken. But for me, at this moment, to make an out of turn announcement will not be appropriate. The Home Minister Amit Shahji has already asked all the states of uh, Northeastern region to amicably settle all the unresolved boundary issues amongst themselves without resorting to any violence. So sometimes uh, the problems arise along the border lines, some actions uh, by some local officers or local people do generate tension. But it is uh, the responsibility of the state government and the administration in the district level to ensure that if there are any disputes, unresolved boundary issues, there should be peaceful negotiation and there should be uh, formal talks and uh, it should be resolved in a best appropriate manner. The border issue, land issue is always sensitive. So it must be treated carefully, it must be dealt with um, proper care. So that, after all, we are not enemies. We are seven sisters now with Sikkim, eight. Uh, we must ensure that we coexist peacefully and we have to show our ability to handle all the issues in a best possible manner, peacefully. It is very difficult to go ahead. So, peace and development must go hand in hand. So, I was also Minister of State for Home Affairs for five years in the uh, previous term. So, I know very well because I have dealt the matter uh, very closely. And most of the uh, splinter groups and uh, uh, misguided youth have come back. We are very happy. We are hopeful that few remaining will also come back. It's always there to help and assist the state government to ensure uh, the law and order situation in the state remains uh, very, very much uh, under control. But when it comes to a uh, larger issue like terrorism, militancy, then there has to be a close coordination of sharing of intelligence and other things, including um, the uh, political understanding. So if, um, uh, if there are some issues which are due to lack of coordination, then that should be overcome. But right now, Meghalai government and the central government are working in close coordination, working in tandem, and I think this issue will be resolved. In charge, they look after uh, party or national matter and they report to the central authority uh, as and when it is required. But my only appeal is, uh, as a democratic setup, opinions may differ. You know, a person's opinion may um, uh, have a different from the other's point of view. But it's a teamwork. We need to work together. If we co if we coexist peacefully, if we work together, we move together, then we will progress together. So progress of the party depends on how united we are. So there may be a few differences, but that is not called division or that is not a, a big problem. It, it's all internal matter, which, which are easy to be sorted out. Provided under the union budget and programs and policies of the Narendra Modi government, number one must reach out to the people. Number two, people should know 
that central government has taken such huge steps for the benefit and welfare of the common people. So if we tell uh, these things to people, then people will appreciate the government. For the state of northeastern region to uh, provide as a matching fund is for some schemes, not all. There are many schemes which are grant. There are many schemes which are 100% grant. The matching share is only very few. Rest of the states, in some schemes, the contribution of the state government is 40%. In some of the schemes, it is 75%. And uh, in some schemes, it is 50-50. But Northeastern region is wherever require, required. The matching grant is only 10%. But as I said, many schemes are in grant. In the highways, the roads, these are all 100% grants. The individual beneficiary schemes are all 100% grants. The 10% budgetary uh, the matching grant is for very limited schemes. Yes.